Hello, I want to talk to you about a great program from SysInternals. Now, SysInternals is a suite of Microsoft tools. You get there by going to sysinternals.com. That's S Y S, and then the word internals.com. You click on the SysInternals suite, and then you can download the entire suite or the individual programs. I'm going to be da downloading Auto Runs, which is a great program to show you what all is running on your computer. I've actually already downloaded the entire suite, so I'll open up the SysInternals directory and go ahead and click on autoruns.exe. Go ahead and maximize that. And you can see that it starts loading everything that starts up when your computer starts. It just brings up a list of everything from the programs that run and including all of the drivers that load all of your registry files that load and basically everything that starts up when you start your computer I'm just going to scroll through these rather quickly and show you that there's a lot of things happening when you start your computer and that's why it can take a long time to boot up but let's start by clicking the logon tab up here and this is just the main programs that load and processes that load in the background uh, this section right here you're going to see a lot of the programs that will be in your system tray such as your Komodo, that's my firewall, AVG, is the virus checking program. There's a lot of other things in there too. There's Adobe's automatic updater, you've got QuickTime's automatic updater, uh, Realtek's automatic updater, Sun Java's automatic updater. So there's a lot of programs in there. These terminate and stay resident programs is what they used to call them. And they stay in the background and they're constantly you know, checking the internet and looking for updates and things like that. Now that can really eat up a lot of system bandwidth so if you have something you never use you can actually turn that off you just click the check mark here actually have to run this program as administrator before you can turn that off so I'll go ahead and do that then you can uncheck programs and next time you boot up that one will not start up now I'm gonna go ahead and check that back because I don't want to turn it off but there's a lot of things you can do with this program. Uh, if you see programs in here that you never use, say you used to use the Rhapsody Music Player a lot, but now you don't use it, you can go ahead and uncheck it and stop it from loading at startup, and it'll save you a lot of bandwidth. And you'll boot faster, consequently. Now, there's other things you can look at. You can look at your Internet Explorer plugins, and that's everything that loads when you load Internet Explorer. Now, if you have any weird toolbars or uh, you know, Trojans and virus programs. They might show up right here, so that's a good place to look. And if you see any unidentified programs over here in Login, you can uncheck those as well. Now, they may come back, depending on how robust the virus is, but this will at least give you a starting point to know that you have some trouble. You can also look at your scheduled tasks. As you can see, there's a lot of things scheduled. All your services that load. your drivers, codecs, things that execute on boot and so forth, DLLs, over here is more login programs for your Windows authentication and your, your username and login and your WinSock providers. You can see there's a lot of things going on when you start a computer and if your computer is taking forever to load or if you think you might have a program that Perhaps you didn't install or didn't want to install, uh, such as a virus or a Trojan. This is a good program to run and turn some of those things off. Another great thing about this program is if you've ever had a computer that boots and then pops up a message that like, could not load your know, XYZ, this is a great program to just run, find that program, say, where was that program? Oh, it couldn't uh, load TK Bell EXE. Perhaps you deleted it or uninstalled it improperly. You find that in the list uncheck it, save it, and then next time you run your computer that error message will be gone. So as you can see this is a very powerful program and I hope you use it next time you need to manage your processes.